What's up, YouTube? It's your boy King Tyson, and I'm back. Before we get to it, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and you always watch the full video. So recently, there's been a lot of talk behind this whole situation with Queen and Clarence being together for six years and not being married. Well, Queen recently spoke out and stated that she's not in a rush to get married, but fans noticed at her recent performance in Philly, she actually skipped out on the part of her song that stated, I want to have your last name, no matter how long it takes. Yeah, my hey, Clarence, my boy, I advise you to wake up, bro. I advise you to either pay attention or let, just let her go, bro. Them your only options. It's either propose or let her go. You notice what she want. If you not willing to do that, you got to be a man and let her go. At the end of the day, this goes for anybody. If you know that you can't give the person, your significant other, whatever, what they want, what they truly deserve, let them go. Let them go. It's, 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 it's like it's either get them what they want or let them go or talk to them and I guess try to convince them to compromise. But then again, if they if then if they can't do that, you gotta let it go, man. At the end of the day, you gotta let it go. Like you you see, like come on, bro, like that. <laughs> unless again, this can all be busy. This can all be played out on purpose. Cause I just seen um Claire snap and there was him and Queen and. Uh, I forgot one of the kids was out walking, like exercising today. So I just seen it this morning. So they're still together. They still, you know, doing them. So this could all be a business move. We know people are paying attention to, to this exact thing. We know people are waiting and hoping that, you know, a marriage is going to come or a breakup might come. Sadly, you know, some people. So let's play on this. Let's play on this for a while. Let me let me drop little hints here and there. Let me drop songs here and there. And at the <laughs> behind closed door, they're perfectly good. Never know. But if not, bruh, again, you gotta be a man and let her go. Yeah, you love her. Yeah, you wanna be with her, but if you can't give her what she wants, you gotta let her go. Now, Queen was also on a podcast with Bootleg Kev, where she stated she's not in a rush to get married, but she would like to get proposed to. Yeah, it ain't, it ain't no rush, but it's not a rush for marriage, but it is like a little rush for like the ring. The ring. Cause yeah. it's like, okay, at least if you propose, then we know where we headed. We've had conversations about it. Like, right. I know that he's going to, but it's like, okay. When six years, yeah. yeah, but you know, sometimes men they want to get certain things out the way, like he wants to put out his clothing line. Mm. So it appears that Queen is now at the point that she may be getting a little impatient. But you guys leave you what I like. All right, look, yes, before you do certain things, you do want to have certain things in place, but that should have been a step you, that you took before you had a kid. Let me let, let me get some uh let me get financially stable before we buy a house. Y'all already did that. Let, let me get financially stable before we have we start a family. Y'all already did that. Like what? I ain't gonna lie, bro. I, I rock with you, bro. Like out of all the the, the you know the the YouTubers with the C's in in their name, Clarence, Chris Ells, CJ, both of them. This is the only one that like like that's seemed cool that seemed cool but that was dumb out what the bro the marriage is not going to stop your clothing brand your brand is going to base off it's going to go up based because who you are you are a well-known name you're not me you're not me with, with a clothing brand that's that's struggling to make one sale bro you're not me you in your position, as soon as you drop the line, as soon as you drop the, the link to it in your in, in your description in, in your your bio on Instagram. Come on, bruh. Yeah, come on. That sound like uh that sound like what's the name trying to be a ninja right now, bruh. 
their opinions on that down below but let's move on to this next topic with carmen and her alleged new boo big boogie now if you guys didn't know people spotted big boogie's real name john tatted on carmen's wrist and then she was recently spotted walking out with him for his recent concert performance so good to see things going well for carmen she appears to be happy with mr big boogie but let's move on to this next topic with neek and Dwayne because they were recently on instagram live together spilling a lot of tea now someone asked them the question how they felt about carmen how do y'all feel about carmen i think carmen cool she got some friends i don't fuck with i'll tell y'all that in my next podcast man bye <laughs> That sounded sassy as hell, bruh. That <laughs> I don't know if he was trying to be if he was trying to like like mimic uh Neek or what, but that sounded super sassy right there, bruh. He just go to tea. I got all the tea. So now I would really like to know which one of Neek's friends does Dwayne not really like too much? You guys leave your opinions down below on who you think that might be. Now in a previous video, I also spoke on how Dwayne actually did buy all of Kaiser's school supplies and people were getting on King because he wasn't present. Well, Neek just sent praise to Dwayne for doing that. She stated that Dwayne treats Kaiser like he's his own. What's y'all? What's your favorite quality about me? That's what he's supposed to do. Um, she gonna lie and say some bullshit. <laughs> no, I'm not. Go ahead. You're a good dad, and you love Kaiser a lot, and you treat him like your own. And it's cute to watch. Motherfucker be reading the comments and then try to tell me that's my favorite. Oh, wow. What's your book? They continued their live and think. That's what a real nigga's supposed to do. That's not, I mean, that is something that you pray because sadly a lot of people don't do it. But that's what a real one is supposed to do. When you accept a woman that has a package, you accept the whole package, not just her. If, you, if you're if you dating a female and you know she, for a fact, she has kids and she's not with them, she's not, you don't see her ever, like, go take care of her kids, you need to question that. <laughs> you for sure need to question that because, like, why are you not calling on your kids? Why are they not calling you? Why are you not worried about them? Why are all always up under me? Like, what? So, for him, like, stepdads, hey. Even though, sadly, a lot of stepdads don't be getting their praise. So, to see her give him his praise is good. But, again, that's what a real man is supposed to do. When you accept the package, you accept the whole package, not half of it. Not just the box, and then you don't want what's in it. It's got a little bit frisky between the two. Dwayne even stayed in some things that go down in the bedroom. She thick as I be having a field day back there. Oh my God. Every time I'm back there, you know what my favorite thing when she say to me? What's your favorite thing? What's, what do you think my favorite thing is when we when we doing the nasty that you say to me? Um, what? This nigga, say, boy. Stay inside. What you see saying? Tell her what you say. Tell her what you say. What you say? I don't know. She's trying to have a baby. <laughs> Tell her what you say. Hey, I don't say nothing. What you say? Nah, bye. Just tell her what you say. Fuck. Aaron. <laughs> Fuck, Aaron. <laughs> Y'all know I'm that dude. What you be saying? I'll be. <laughs> Bro, shit's so good. I done made money. her cry. <laughs> I said, I, I ain't more. I said, you said, uh, I, man, that, that nigga said I made her cry. <laughs> Damn, bro. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> Damn, <I'm> sure, <laughs> Somebody said she said stay inside. <laughs> you tell a nigga stay inside. You trying to have a baby, bro? Like, what else you want me to stay inside for? Like, <laughs> that's crazy, bro. Hey. That's crazy as hell. Well, I, I don't know, like, this is funny, but I'll probably wait to put this on the, on the internet. Stay inside! Yeah, you know, at first she ain't want no jit, but you know what I mean? Now she been scratching stay inside. So, I don't know what it is. We might be having a little, but, but the only thing is, y'all, 
I, I want a little boy. Look. I want another what like, I say. but she want a little girl, so I think that's where the disconnect that. So, I just think our daughter gonna be a fucking beast in the paint. She ain't getting in the paint. <laughs> well, I, <laughs> Angel Reese. <laughs> I oh, thought yeah, it was going to be tall. That's what I'm saying. That's the only way she a beast can be. in the paint. Like, tall. I got the key. Yeah. I, 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 I would love like, an Angel Reese. Crazy big, but like. She ain't going to be no super tall boy. She going to be girly. We're going to have a wedding. Please, play. Just give me my money. Just give me my money. Just give me my money. It's too late. Everybody know about it now. So it's like, not really nobody that we could do. It weird. That's just it's gonna make sense. Bro, I'm I'm just I'm just talking. Y'all just y'all take everything the wrong way. No, they told some Dwayne and that's too much. <laughs> I don't never say nothing for real. And you get on that and say a whole lot, a whole lot of And guess what? I do not give a fuck. That ain't gonna be trashy as hell. That boy yeah. got a little sugar in his tank, boy. Kyle said, y'all gonna have a 6 7 slash of shit. Me, Nick is not pregnant. We're gonna have a 6 7 point guard. My son. And we already got names. What's the names? I can tell them. The good, man. Nah, this, this is my little shit. Yeah. Yeah. Do me something. That's yeah. what they say in Louisiana. Do me something. Get that from. Do me something. You. I ain't never said that before. Do me something. I ain't never said that. Man, your, your mama say that all the time. Do me that? something. Mama like you going to do me something. Your mama, oh, I done heard you. Oh, yeah. Now you so you going to lie. But you say See like, do she, me something. Like, yeah, we just I ain't put the like you going to do me something on there, but I done heard your mama say it. Hey, I ain't going to lie. For my first time ever seeing, uh, ever seeing Neek when, when, she was, uh, when, she, when she was with King to now, I don't know if, if, if it's the relationship. I don't know if it's the money. I don't know if it's just the time. But, because you know how most black women go, bruh, <laughs> she getting finer. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I always thought, I always thought Nick, was, Nick was pretty, but it's like now she's starting to get prettier. That's crazy. Like, when you see black girls do that, I ain't gonna lie. That'd be something beautiful to see right there. Like, when you see a black girl, we know she's getting older, but she's getting prettier. It's like, damn, black really don't crack.